You've been loving all the hacks and techniques on my channel so much. I'm so excited to bring you another Xyron hack for card making. And this is gonna absolutely blow your mind. The card layers that I start off with are always three and a half by four and three quarters. Two different dies here. I have a circle die and a square die. And you can see how I have them positioned on to the actual cardstock. This is important. Don't want it up here. You want to have plenty of space up here on either side and space at the sides. That's very important for this trick to work. Not gonna be using the square in today's demonstration. I am going to be focusing on the actual circle die. Cardstock that I have cut right here is exactly the same as this layer. It's the same size, so you're gonna want two of these to start out with, one of which you're gonna be die cutting. I have my shapes die cut. So I'm gonna need the square and the circle out of this. You're gonna want these about right in here to give you plenty of space to work with on each side. So just slide those in there just like that until it hits your roller. Start just cranking this through. I'll we'll turn this around so you can see up really close. So I'm gonna crank it. And then Mr. Butters is coming to visit. Hey baby. So I'm gonna just roll this on through. I've got quite a bit of space right here and if cutter, and we're gonna cut this. And this is what we're left with. See, there's plenty around each of the edges, but I just wanted to do this because if I have the square, I already have this piece for later for another card and this minimizes my waste and I want to use as much waste as possible. I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm just gonna save this and this for later for a separate card. Smooth down the edges, press kind of hard and just rub that down all the way around your circle. We wanna trim this close but not too close. So just cut around your image. Probably gonna leave a quarter of an inch maybe, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. This is what we're gonna do. Cause we're gonna use this waist. It should look like this all the way around. Pull over where we die cut the circle out and now I want you to just gently peel back the edge here. Start to pull back on it. You see the clear adhesive right here. Just put it all face down. That's really important. Just like that. We're going to allow the adhesive circle to come off of our actual carrier sheet. So just let it pull off. Because normally when you make a sticker, that circle would have stayed on this sheet, but we're peeling it off in a way that it's going to stay on. Okay, so we'll just move that out of the way. Do not toss that, we need that. Wooden cuticle pusher. You could use a wooden skewer. I'm gonna put this right at the edge where the sticky adhesive is. I'm just gonna lay it right down on that edge and wiggle it so that, see, you can see it right there. I'm pulling it up. And this allows me to untack my fingers <laughs> from the adhesive. Right here, this is what we've got. This is all sticky on this side. Lay this back down here. Now, you're gonna take your carrier sheet, like this very backing waxy part, and you're gonna lay it underneath and just put your circle like right over top of that and then i'm just going to take some low tack tape something that will not rip your card just a really low tack this is pixie tape and while we're holding this down just like this put the tape down because we don't want this to shift or move put another piece down here a little sticky sheet all the sticky is on this side and if i raise this over you can see what it looks like if it has a little bit of wrinkles in it don't worry you're going to be fine 
So I'm carefully going to try to do this because this is so much easier if I don't have a camera over my head. But what you want to do is line it up with your hole that's in the cardstock. Just line it up and just set it down in there. Just like that. Get your skewer down or cuticle pusher. And then just like smooth this out just like this. And just push it all down, all that adhesive. Just like that. And then pull your cuticle pusher away from and then just go ahead and put that down. And now we're going to pull everything up, take the tape off, just like this. This is really cool. And it's so easy. Don't think that this is hard. This is easy, I promise. So now you remember how we had the adhesive and everything. Now we're just going to pull this through just like that. And now we have our sticky circle back on our carrier sheet here. So don't throw this away. We need this. So just push that to the side. So now you can see that we have our piece of plastic now on our piece of cardstock. So if you get any smudging from the adhesive on here, microfiber, towel, or whatever, and just rub on it and it will come off. If you do find a part that's a little stubborn to get off, just wet your finger just a little bit and then take the microfiber cloth to it and it'll just, it will clean it right up. Took the microfiber cloth to it. You can see how clean it is. And here is our back side. This is the die set that I just used by Momenta and it's the square and circles. Bring in that adhesive circle, a little bit of Unchartered Mariner. Take this around all the edge of the circle. And as I'm finishing this up, I'm gonna bring in my Misty. Once I have my circle complete, I'm gonna put my circle down and I'm gonna put my magnet right up here on it. It's the Scribbly Christmas by Tim Holtz. The Merry Christmas, and I'm just gonna seat this right off of the circle. So it's kind of gonna be a little up. I'm not putting it in the middle. I'm kind of raising it up just a smidge. My Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink in Obsidian. The Merry Christmas. And we're going to stamp that out. And if you're new to stamping at all, get yourself a stamp chamois. You will thank me. It's like the best thing ever to clean your stamps with. No chemical, just water set this off to the side. Okay, so I feel like an idiot because I totally messed up, but I guess in this situation, it's a good thing because I can show you what to do if this does happen to you. You get all excited and you forget to do the most important step. <laughs> and that is before you put this plastic layer on this, right after you die cut this piece, you're going to lay it over top your other layer and you're going to, with a pencil, lightly trace and draw that circle so that you have a circle on this sheet. If this happens to you and you forget to draw your circle, take your piece with the plastic on it and just lay it over top, just like that. Flip it over. It's gonna be the easiest if you have like a light box or a Cric Cricut light pad, but you can totally just use your window. You just need some sort of light source to put under this. So I'm just gonna do a little mark here, here, and there, and over here. You just want it to be on the outer portions because you don't want to be able to see this when we get finished with the card. So I'll just do another up here, up here, and up here, there. 
So if you mess up, just do this. You're good to go. No worries. Don't panic. It's totally fine. I've got all of my circle dotted out and I'm just going to stick this inside of my Misty. And this little tree right here is so cute. So this is the one I'm going to use. Position the Christmas tree within the circle or whatever stamp you do use it needs to be within the circle. The Distress Ink Rustic Wilderness to stamp my image. In the circle, I've ink blended with Salvage Patina and Uncharted Mariner. These are the color Copics that I'll be using for the Christmas tree, and then I've got the yellow for the star on top. I'm just gonna remove my layer out of the Misty, and you see how easy that just came off of the scrapbook.com sticky mat amazing no ruining your card no bowing it it's just perfect beautiful white glitter cardstock the paper snowflakes by tim holtz and look at all the beautiful snowflakes so i'm going to be using these three snowflakes right here these are my favorite snowflakes so pretty the front of our card right here and we're going to flip it over so that we have the back side and we're going to lay that down i have a roll of foam and this is going to work best if you have the thinner version this is a little too thick for what i want to do here but i'm just going to cut it and make it work first piece of foam cut and i'm just going to put it right here And I hope you all do really enjoy these hack videos because I sure do enjoy making them for you. That square that I have, I'm just going to cut a little bit of this off because I need that waxy backing that's on it to be able to cut this. I'm just going to put this down onto that waxy backing. That way I can kind of try to cut this without getting it all over my scissors. Parchment paper would also work for this. You don't want to get your scissors all yucky. Just use parchment paper. That'll work just fine. And make sure this is tight up against here because you want this all closed off. And this is just going to brace our card a little bit better with another piece down here. Misty stamping tool. I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to take out all the contents and then I'm going to lay this down in here just like that. I have these sequins from Crafter's Companion. They're like a clearish white and then this beautiful blue and as you can see my kittens got after this and it's that's not cool so these are going to go in a drawer now to where they can't get after them I have my anti-static tool so to help cut down on a little bit of the static that's gonna probably happen I'm just gonna make sure I'm not like completely ruining this I'm just wanting to put a little bit on here the static for this is a real deal so just rub it back off. This will help with the static really well. Make sure this seats down in this corner. And you could even take your magnetic tool right there just to hold it down on the edge. You got a little bit of a edge there and then that way it can't slip and slide around and move on you. Go over the Christmas tree. Rub it back off with the just the microfiber towel the sequins and we're just going to gently drop them down in here. I think that that's probably a good amount. Be very careful when removing all of the backing from your foam tape. Just pull all that away. Just wipe it to make sure there's nothing on it. And then line up everything in the corner and with the side, just let everything fall into place. When you turn it over, you have your Christmas tree inside your little circle and that's how you line everything up. If you end up with any unwanted like scuffs or markings on your card front, just take your mono eraser and just go over that and erase it away. And our circle 
adhesive sticker and peel the backing off and to put this in the very corner down here. So it's just gonna overlap this circle at the top, but we wanna make sure the word Christmas is within the inside of the card. And we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna cut this piece off. We're gonna keep that piece. I'm gonna stick it right here for right now. We're gonna cut this piece off because we, we don't want these to go to waste. We're gonna use these. We don't wanna throw anything away. Stick this down. This other little piece that I have right here, I'm gonna stick it over here on the side. And this looks absolutely amazing so far. Put whatever adhesive on the backs of your snowflakes. And I'm going to put one in this corner and up in this corner over here. It's the last one down in this corner over here. So quick, simple, and easy to make. Anyone can do this. Now I'm gonna flip this over, cut off the excess edges. Cut that off. We want one of the longer pieces. Stick that right there some connect glue to add my gems. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to go back and check out all the other hacks, tips, tricks, and techniques, organization, and reviews on my channel. You'll absolutely find a lot of helpful information there. Beautiful HTV Ront glitter card stock. I have the A2 layer dies from Waffle Flower, and they cut your layers perfectly. Look how stinking cute this is. I absolutely adore this. It's so quick, simple, easy. Anyone can do this and it's so much fun, all with using my Xyron machine. Let me know what you think of my card in the comments below. I really wish that you could see this in person. It's absolutely stunning. Coming up soon, I have another foiling hack video and there's gonna be some other fun techniques and tips on that video. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I love having you here. I will catch you in that next video. Butters is laying beside of the Christmas tree. And Shorty is always exactly where she shouldn't be.